Hello everyone, I am Subhashri and I have prepared some important questions for the chemistry exam and I hope it will help you to excel the exam. So let's begin. So from unit 1 that is physical chemistry, we can have questions like state the postulates of Bohr's atomic model. Sometimes the question asks like uh, what are the drawbacks of Rutherford's atomic model and how Bohr rectified it. So be prepared for the question and Bohr's atomic model is a must. Next state and explain Aubau's principle. Define ionic, covalent and coordinate bond. So the formation of bonds in NaCl, methane, water and ammonium ion. So mostly it, it can ask um, definition of any kind of bond with examples. So you have to show the formation of bonds in um, different molecules or different compounds. Next, explain bronsted lorry's theory for acid and base. So generally there are three types of, uh, three uh, theories for acid and base. So it can ask any type of, any kind of it. Next, state and explain Faraday's law of electrolysis. So here it asks, um, um, explain Faraday's law of electrolysis and it has not mentioned any one kind of it. So here in this type of question, you have to answer both the, both the laws of Faraday's. Next, explain the process of electro refining. It's, an, it's a very important question. Next, write different methods of protection against corrosion. Why water is called an amphoteric solvent? Explain why all arrhenius acids are bronsted acids, but all arrhenius bases are not bronsted bases. Explain with examples. Next, you have to go through the mathematical problems on normality, molarity, molality, pH calculation, Faraday's law of electrolysis. So you can ex expect one to two questions from this part. Next, define and explain atmospheric corrosion. There are two types of corrosion. So it may ask the mechanism of uh, atmospheric or water line. Next, explain the electrolytic method of purification of impure copper. That is nothing but electro refining process. So for short answer type of question, we can expect questions like electronic configuration of atoms or ions. So here I have mentioned chromium and copper because these are exceptional cases and you have to go through this exceptional cases. Next equivalent weights of molecules it can ask equivalent or molecular mass of uh, compounds uh, of solid of uh, uh, acids bases or salts then what is double sir give an example so most probably it can ask a particular type of salt or it may ask um, questions like uh, define salt and how many type of salts are there explain with example so be prepared accordingly. Next, which type of chemical bonds exist in magnesium chloride and water? Define isotope, isobar, isoton with examples. Next, define mixed salt given example. Uh, for unit 2 that is inorganic chemistry, we can expect questions like define alloy, write the composition and uses of bronze, brass, alnico and duralumin. Next, it can ask definitions of calcination, roasting, smelting, or leaching. Next, mention the basic steps involved in the metallurgical operations. What are galvanization, explain froth rotation, and magnetic separation process of metallurgy. From unit 3, that is organic chemistry, we can have questions like IUPAC naming of organic compounds. So it's an important question. You can expect 5 to 10 questions, each carrying one mark from this part. Next, differentiate saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. Define Huckel's rule of aromaticity. Next, to, uh, we can uh, expect short, question, uh, short answer type questions like um, to which class of compounds C4H10 belongs and how. Next, write the uses of benzene, toluene, BHC, phenol, naphthalene, anthracene, and benzoic acid. 
so you have to write minimum two uses of these compounds these organic compounds next from industrial chemistry that is unit 4 we can expect questions like define hard water explain the ion exchange process of removing hardness from water differentiate the cold lime soda process and hot lime soda process what are lubricants explain the purpose of lubrication next write the composition and uses of cng that is compressed natural gas producer gas and water gas next give a comparison between thermosetting and thermoplastics explain the composition and uses of pvc and bakelite next what is vulcanized rubber uh, next differentiate between cold, cold lime soda and hot lime soda methods what are biofertilizers write two examples and their uses we can also expect questions like define fuel and what are the characteristics of a good fuel? next what are insecticides give two examples what is degree of polymerization what is calorific value of fuel write its unit next define lubricant give an example of a semi-solid lubricant how temporary hardness can be removed you have to write the reactions here next which chemicals are responsible for the hardness of water so that's all i have given the previous year questions uh, that is a question of 2021 winter examination so please go through the question and go through the format yeah that's all for today thank you and all the best for your exam